Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen from all over the world, wherever you might be. In today's Callisto Protocol video, we are going to be talking about the story of the game and what exactly is the Callisto Protocol. Obviously, since nobody has played the game yet fully, we don't know the whole thing, but only what we know of that's been released to the public, of which will be talked about here in this video, so there will not be any spoilers. If you could also please comment down below if you are excited for the story of what is known and let me know if this is one of the most exciting parts of that game that you are looking forward to. Also, I would like to say the last 24 hours have been some of the best 24 hours of my entire life looking at what has been happening with my YouTube channel for the last two videos that I uploaded with the amount of support that I have gotten and I think I have reached the point where I have passed a thousand subscribers and I cannot thank all of you enough for that. It really makes me proud, happy, and excited for the future to come when covering this game. So again, thank you, thank you so much for that. I am, I'm just so happy. I'm, I'm so enamored I, to the point where I almost got emotional. So again, thank you very much. So now let's get into the story. As of right now, this is the main synopsis that we can gather. In the year 2320, Jacob Lee and his partner Max are contract freight transporters working for the United Jupiter Company and co-pilots of the UJ UJC Charon. They have recently been ferrying shipments of an unlabeled volatile cargo between Europa and the UJC-operated Black Iron Prison on Callisto, and their latest run promises to be lucrative enough for them to retire. During the descent from orbit to the prison, the Charon is boarded by the Outer Way, a group purportedly responsible for numerous terror attacks on civilians, and the ship crash lands on Callisto's surface. Jacob and Outerway leader Danny Nakamura are the only survivors. Both are recovered by the BIP security head captain Leon Ferris, and then incarcerated without charges or trial on the orders of Warden Duncan Cole. Jacob awakens after the grueling intake process to find the prison being overrun by hostile inmates aff afflicted with an unknown disease. He encounters Elias Porter, a longtime prisoner who claims to have an escape plan, and they work together to overcome the infected, prison security systems, and the rapidly deteriorating prison itself. So right there, we've got a lot to take in. And also, I want to apologize for what I said in my most recent video, where I had suggested that the character of Jacob Lee was a former employee of the United Jupiter Company. There's also some information there about the character of Danny that also I misplaced, so I apologize for that. I am very interested by the story, and it sounds fascinating because it is basically a lot of unfortunate circumstances that led to the outbreak of which will lead us into the main crux of where the game takes place. I imagine the part of the beginning where the ship is taken over by these terrorists won't take that long, so hopefully a lot of the game is focused in the prison. Getting into the nitty gritty of it all, let's also discuss where it is that the game is taking place on, in this case, the moon of Callisto, which orbits the planet Jupiter. Callisto is the second largest moon of Jupiter right after Ganymede and the third largest in the entire solar system. It is roughly the size of Mercury at a third of its mass and is essentially a dead space, no pun intended, due to a lack of tectonic activity. It is frozen, sur it is frozen surface is virtually entirely defined by eons of impacts and bombardment. However, the existence of a subterranean sea suggests that it might actually harbor life, despite the hostile surface and a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide. It is commonly considered to be a candidate for colonization, thanks to low radiation levels and likely existence of water. So clearly here with the moon itself, it offers quite a lot of mystery, but also intriguing aspects to it that could offer some for, for some interesting story points along the way. The moon is colonized as of the year 2320 by the United Jupiter Company that operates a maximum security prison on its surface. The Black Iron Prison houses criminals in conditions comparable to a concentration camp, with security and compliance enforced both by automated robots and a crushing sense of despair and isolation in the far-flung reaches of the solar system. The moon is heavily excavated by the corporation, and the prisoners are, apparently, subjected to experiments and exposure to whatever the corporation dredges up. This part right here is very interesting because I almost wonder if, because of everything around this prison in the harsh conditions it is in, maybe that is what could affect the mutations and experiments that happen there, creating all these different bio-creations that haunt the prison, feasting on whatever they can find. It will be very interesting to find out if that is the case, and that is a huge story detail into how it all came to be. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the story and plot that we know of at this very point in time without seeing the actual game. It was also very interesting to explore the actual moon itself considering everything that I also mentioned about that. 
I can't believe it is finally time as this game is releasing tomorrow officially worldwide for us all to play. We went over the basics behind what you need to know before playing and so now it is actually time to put our hands on it. I can't wait to see you all along for the journey, especially since my classes for my current graduate school semester are now over and I could put all my attention on this game and YouTube. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to drop a like on the video and again comment down below what your thoughts are on this and if you are excited for this story and everything around the moon of Callisto. Finally of course subscribe to my channel if you are new and you want to see more videos like this around the game I will be covering it a lot more. I hope you all have a fantastic day, be safe and have fun. This is Orion and I'm signing out.